All right, so I've done a bunch of work on the color editing menu, um, and I wanted to show it with uh, multi-bladed uh, saber um, because one of the nice things about edit mode is that you're going to be able to edit each blade individually. Um, and in doing so, I actually wanted to design the menu system to make it very easy to do that. Um, so the color editing has gone through a lot of iterations, um, but this is uh, the latest version that I'm pretty happy with. Um, obviously, still more testing and stuff. Um, but so um, when we go to edit, you can edit your styles, you can edit your blade length, you can edit your colors. It's actually done blade by blade. So I've added a lot of features um, to the color editing menu to make this all work really nicely. Um, so first we'll go into edit mode. And if you haven't seen, um, so like for the cross guard and Kylo groups, if you haven't seen edit mode yet, there's a whole uh, post on TRA with everything. Um, this is just one piece of it. Uh, but let's go into edit mode. Edit mode. And I'm going to put the mic, uh, the speaker closer edit to the mic. Edit color. So we're going into the edit color menu. Select blade. So now you have to select the blade because you have three. If you don't only have one blade, that doesn't matter. But now, when I go to select blade, one. it's going to flash that blade. Because, especially with a cross guard, you can't always tell which blade is, uh, two, particularly two and three. Two. So now I can easily see which one's two. Three. Which one's three. One. And then we'll go back to one, and I'm going to select one. Color menu. So now in the color menu, so now the color menu has gone through a lot of changes because there's more features. So in color menu, when you have multiple blades, you've got... Edit colors. So that lets you edit colors. Copy colors. You can also copy colors. Reset colors. And you can reset the colors. So if you make changes and you don't like them, you can reset them. But let's go into... Edit colors. We'll go into edit colors. Select effect. So now you got to select your effect, and any effect that's being programmed in the style is going to be accessible. So we'll go. Color. So that, oops, I moved too quick. So. Base color. So that's the base color. So let's choose that. Edit color. And now we've got the dynamic uh, color control. So based on how quickly you turn. It will either jump or move really fine tuned. But let's get, let's go into a green. And then when I'm at a color I like, save, select effect. So now, and you can go through, so I'll play all the ones that are available. Blast color. So I've got blast, clash color, clash, lock up color, lock up, drag color. Drag. Lightning block color. Lightning block. Stab color. Stab. Ignition color. Ignition, so that's the power up effect. Retraction color. Retraction, which is the cool down effect. Base color. And then back to base. So I can edit any of those individually. Um, so let's go do, we'll do the power up. Retraction color. Ignition color. So we'll do the ignition color. Edit color. So it starts out white because that's what was chosen. So when you're in white, you um, it's obviously rotating doesn't do anything. So we're going to tip up and we're going to activate the white level. White level. And now I can actually pull down the white level. And get it into a color. So we'll leave it a little bit white. So then I'm going to tip back up. Edit color. And now I can add a color to that white, and it'll get a little bit of a U. So we'll go, actually, let's get into the blues. That's a little too blue. There's the blues. So we'll do that as a blue on ignition. Save, select, effect. So that's going to look weird, but I'm just kind of showing it. So now I've got uh, two new colors set on this blade, but obviously my cross guards aren't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back up a level. Cancel color menu. So I'm in the color menu. So now I want to take all the... So say you set your blast and your clash and your lockup and your ignition and everything on this blade. And you don't want to have to find the exact same colors to do all these blades. We have the copy colors. So we're going to go to that. Copy colors. So now with copy colors... Select blade. I'm going to select which blade to copy to. Three. And you'll see I can copy to blade three. So I'm going to hit the power. Selection. And you have to confirm. So I'm going to rotate right to confirm. Confirm. Accepted. Color menu. So now that blade is set. 
Now let's go copy colors again. Select blade two. So that's the second blade. Confirm selection. Confirm. Accepted. Color menu. So now I very easily have Edit all three color. blades. Let me, uh, so now I've got all three blades set up with the exact same colors. And if I had made changes to all the colors, it would have been there. Uh, but let's back out. Cancel. Select blade. And let's cancel out. All right, so now I'm in the main. I jumped too quick. So now when I go to ignite, you're going to see my kind of bluish ignition effect and then the green blade on all three blades. So the nice thing about the copy colors is that you can set everything perfect on one blade and then easily copy to the others. And you can still edit these individually. So if you have everything else copied and you wanted to just change one or two colors on these blades, you go in and edit them individually. Um, but So now the copy colors lets you very easily apply all your changes so you don't have to keep making it for each blade. Um, and the uh, identifier, the flashing that I added, uh, makes it a little easier. So, And now if I want to reset the colors, so reset colors is done blade by blade just because you, you don't want to reset everything. So we're going to go back to edit mode. So now let's go back to Edit colors. Style. Edit color. So we're going to color. Select blade. Select the blade. One. So we'll choose one. Color menu. Now let's go to reset. Reset colors. Confirm selection. And you always have to confirm all these options. So it's always rotate right for confirm. Confirm. And press power. Accepted. Color menu. So now I've reverted to my original, and this goes back to the original that's on the config. So whatever originally was programmed is what's going to come back. Let's go back up. Cancel. Select blade. So now I'm going to go back. I'm going to choose another blade. One. That's already done. Two. So two's ready. Let's select two. Color menu. Reset colors. I'm going to reset. Confirm selection. Confirm. Accepted. Color menu. So now that blade's ready, so now I'm going to go back up a level. Cancel. Select blade. One. Two. That's the second, so three. this is three. So we'll select three. Color menu. Reset colors. I'm going to reset. Confirm selection. Confirm. Accepted. Color menu. So now I've got all three blades reset back. So. Um, with the new color menu, there's more options, so there's a couple of tiers added, um, but it just makes it really easy to go through everything um, and edit. And the same thing with your uh, blade length and your edit style now. When you go in, actually I can show it, so let's go up a level. Cancel, select, blade. Cancel, main menu. So main menu. Edit style. So for edit styles. Select, blade. One. So again, it's going to flash and show you which one you're choosing. Two. So that's two down there. Three. And it just lets you one. easily identify. And then we'll select it. And now you can rotate your styles. And this saber has four four styles built just for testing. Um, so that's back around. But you can choose any one you want. Save. Select. Blade. And then. Three. Oops. Cancel. Main menu. Exit. So, um, so still more work to be done on um, all of edit mode, but I've got the color menu pretty well sorted out. Um, and again, it's going to be uh, by blade. So when you're in, when you go into uh, color editing for a multi-bladed saber, um, you're going to choose your blade first, make all your changes there. But with the copy colors, you can then apply those changes everywhere. Now, if you had like accents or crystals and you didn't want that, then you would just individually uh, change the colors on those. But for something like a cross guard or a dual uh, bladed saber, obviously you want to mimic those colors. And rather than having to do it two or three times, you just do it once on one blade and copy it everywhere else. Um, and then again, the reset colors, if you're unhappy or you want to get back to where you actually started originally with your config, you can also reset all the colors. Um, and then I've got the color dial worked out pretty well. I've got the white and black balance working pretty well. Um, but obviously still everything's still in uh, development, so I'll probably fine-tune a little bit more. Um, but I've got it pretty well sorted out, so I wanted to share. Um, so lots more coming. Um, there's still more pieces of edit mode in the works, uh, plus some other stuff coming. So hope you enjoy.